I was doing guys uh, it's a day 26 from June lit code challenge and uh, today's problem is a uh, uh, and today's problem is a uh, sum root to leaf numbers all right uh, in this problem we'll uh, discuss the we'll first understand the problem and then we'll try to see the solution approach for this problem and at the end we'll write a code for this problem all right before we proceed if you are new to the channel please do subscribe to the channel as we solve a lot of competitive problems all right now let's get started what problem says is given a binary tree containing a digits from 0 to 9 only and each root to leaf path could represent a number all right an example is root to leaf path could be uh, 1 2 and 3 which represents the number as 1 2 3 all right find the total sum of all roots to leaf numbers all right a leaf is a node with no children as we all know all right now let's see with one example then it will be more clear so here uh, this is what the tree given to us one and there are two childs to it two and three so the one path could be one and if you go to the left sub tree then it will create one number that is root to leaf one and two so it will create a number as a one two that is a 12 same goes for the second uh, sub tree that is on the right hand side if you see uh, it will create a number one two three so it will create a number as 13 so what we want is at the root uh, therefore the sum is 12 plus 13 is equal to 25 now if let's say uh, if this tree having uh, more levels then in that case this sum will have more number of sums all right now let's see the second example so this is what the second example given to us uh, four having a two nodes and then again nine having a two more nodes as a child nodes so here if you see the first one is the first uh, from root to left uh, node path is 4 and then you go to 9 and then go to the 5 so it will create a number 495 and the second will create if you go 4 9 and 1 then it will create a number as 491 and the same way on the other uh, right hand side it will create a one number as a 14 because it will go from root to the 0 so the total sum is it is going to be 495 491 and 40 that is going to be 1026 so ultimately you have total number of sums is going to be the number of uh, leaf nodes you have if you have a three leaf nodes then total sums or total path we can form is three paths all right so now let's understand the solution for this what we can do here is let's take one example and then see how we can apply the solution for in that example all right so if you see in this example we have uh, four leaf nodes all right so this lift node will have a number as one two three here we have one two four here one five six and here we will have one five seven so if you see in this example we would like to do two things one is we would like to generate these numbers at each leaf node all right and then also the second thing we would like to do is we want to do a summation of those numbers we want to aggregate at the root node all right so there are two things we would like to achieve one is while traversing we would like to generate this number as well as when you complete your traversal you should have the sum with you okay so what we will do is let's say we will start from root node and we will start traversing what we can do is we will when you when you start a traversal when you reach to this node let's say we start at first iterating to the left subtree so when you append this number to this at the time our number should be like this all right because we don't know what is a leaf node for right now so what we will do is whatever the number has been passed to this node we will multiply that number let's say that number is uh, n or root we will do a multiplication of 10 that is what uh, the we are shifting one decimal number to the left hand side and then we will add this number let's say that is a x okay and let's say this number is generated at this node when you call a next node you will pass this number to that node so what again we will follow is we will again multiply it with a 10 and then we will add that number all right so the one thing we achieved here is like uh, we were able to generate our number every time you when you call your subtrees just pass that number whatever the number you have generated by multiplying the uh, 10 with it and add the number itself okay now second thing we what we want is we want to accumulate or we want to do a summation of this all the number series we generated so what we will, we can do here is when you reach to your leaf node all right so you will return the uh, whatever the number generated from there okay let's say here we generated a one two three so we will return a one two three same goes for here we will return a one two four okay 
and when you reach over here we will accumulate this two number and we will pass that number to the root node okay so that means from here we will do a 1 2 3 plus 1 2 4 and that whatever the result uh, let's say some result y is generated that we will pass over here same we will apply over here here we will we will do summation of this as well as this two number and then we will pass this and then here again we will do a summation of those four numbers so let's say here you generated y here you generated some uh, random number p okay summation so here again we will do y plus p and that is going to be final answer so ultimately at each node you will do a summation of whatever the uh, series formatted in the uh, the left subtree and the right subtree and then you will return that number so the two thing we are doing is one we generated the number and at the same time when you return from that number you will also do a summation and return that value all right now let's write a code for this all right so let's first write down our uh, recursion call so we'll call that recursion function and we'll pass the number first time we will pass a root node and initially when we are calling the root node at that time we do not have any numbers so the parent of that root is let's say we will make it as a zero at that time so this zero is nothing but whatever the number we are passing that number we are let's say when you were reach over here so one uh, one will pass that one to the two and then you do a, dish, a multiplication of 10 and then you do a create a number 12 then that will be passed to the next node so here initially when you are starting with a root at that time there is no node so we'll pass first time zero all right now let's go now let's write down a function uh, public integer some numbers all right and it has input as one root node and integer sum okay or i would say let's say current sum all right so the initial condition here is let's say your root is null so in that case that means we do not have any number from there so we'll return a zero from there all right now second condition we would like to see is let's say whatever the node you are traversing that is a leaf node so let's say if left and right both are uh, null that means we are at a leaf node right is equal to null so in that case return uh, whatever your current sum you have passed and do a multiplication of 10 with that because we are shifting one decimal because we are generating that number and then add the current node value that means the whatever the leaf node you have and then return that value from there all right in another condition let's say if we are not at a root node then what we want to do is just explore or just iterate for the uh, next subtree of left and right root dot left first we will pass and at the same time we will also pass 10 plus 1 10 plus root dot 12 plus some numbers root sorry root dot right and you have current sum into 10 plus root dot value all right so the last condition uh, what it is doing is uh, before you return anything from this node you will just check left create a sequence from left subtree right subtree and whatever the sequence generated just do addition and return that value to the parent node all right this looks to be good now let's run this code oops there is a typo some numbers all right so we got 25 25 let's submit this code okay it got submitted so in this case the time complexity of our problem is going to be of n and the space wise we are not utilizing so it is going to be constant space so that's it in this video hope you like it guys if you have a different problem solution uh, please uh, write it down in the comment see you in the next video till the time bye bye